up, everybody? This indigenous real is clocking in again, man. Today, I want to bring y'all a little knowledge about engrams. In the field of computational linguistics and probability, an engram is a continuous sequence of n items from a given sample of text or speech. The items can be phonemes, syllables, letters, words, or base pairs according to the application. And engrams typically are collected from a text or speech corpus. With that being said, I must say that engrams are showing the frequency of words being used through our culture. They gather from all over and they're very useful in seeing how words were never used prior to a certain date. And engrams go all the way back from the 1500s all the way up to uh, 2008. And a lot of these words that these people use to call us nowadays weren't even factors back then, weren't even factors a few years ago. And when I say a few, I mean a hundred, because in the, when you're talking indigenous and aboriginal people, you must think about the centuries and think about the decades and, and really look into the whole picture. I apologize for using slang and not using proper English, but I'm not scripting this and this is really coming off the head. I had a video I put out earlier entitled Question Everything, including American English. And I use my Ingram pictures and photos inside of the video. And I figured people would want to know, like, what the hell are Ingrams? See, like on this Ingram chart right here of the word mulatto, we see that it's a frequently used word. It went up more around the 1860 area and it fluctuated. Right here, we had the word European. It, it it was a little used word and it went way up and it's way more used now in literature. We had the word Negro. It wasn't used early on a lot. It had a big wave around the 50s and 60s and then it went back down. We have the word Natives. Natives was used largely, but it went all the way down where they barely used the word now Native. And that's because they got our ass hit. We got the word American. It was barely used back then. It, it didn't start uh, gaining popularity until the 1920s. And it's been up ever since. We got the word Mexico. It was little used back then, but now has gained way more popularity from the 1880s on now. We have the word Mexican. It had little popularity. It started gaining popularity in the uh, 1840s, and it's just been on the rise ever since. We had the word blackamore. It was used a lot back then, but it's barely used now. Oh, we had the word Pangea. It was never used, basically never ever used. It fluctuated a little bit in the early 1800s and it picked back up in 1920 on up. Uh, we had the word black man. It was barely used back then, but it was used and it picked up during the 60s, during the whole NAACP area era indigenous was used but it's been way more used here since the 20s the word aboriginal it was barely ever seen or used man it gained popularity around like the 20 1820s and it's been on a rise since like 1960 we got the word white person now, it's been fluctuating ever since the 1800s. It's been fluctuating. It's been in a lot of liter liter literary sources. It's fluctuated, fluctuated. Okay, we got the word eugenics. It took a rise in the early 1900s. It went sky high out the roof. Around 1920, it, it went down around the 60s, and it came back up now. We got the word slave. It was used at a high rate back then, really around 1860. And, okay, we got the word indenture servant. It was barely used back then. It, it took off around the 1900s, and uh, it's been on the rise ever since. Uh, we have the word Negro. It was barely used, and then it, it took on the rise around the 1920 area, and it's been... Start getting less around the 1980. I think I had that word twice. We had the word more. It was greatly used. They used the word more a lot. It started going on decline after 1880. We have the word Indian. It has been on a steady rise and it, it gained popularity around the 1960s. 
See, a lot of this stuff was gaining popularity around the 60s. DNA gained popularity around the 60s. It was never heard of before 1940 area. We had a word genealogy. It was greatly used. It stopped. It, it grew less in popularity around the 1920 and grew back in popularity in the here the 2000s. We got the word Kimmy. It was born totally in the 1960s, man. This word was it's made up. That's a made up bullshit. No disrespect. We got the word American. It was barely used to the 1880s and it's been on the rise ever since. That's key. We got the word America. It was greatly used in the early 1800s. Fluctuated and it started, it went on a major rise from the 1920s until now. We have the word black person. It's from the 60s to now. It grew, it grew the most because that word was solely created around the 60s also. We have the word African. It was barely used until the 40s. After the Garvey area era and all that type stuff. And now it, it soared up in the 60s. It went down a little bit in the 80s. Now it's up high in the 20s. Everybody's using that word African now. Damn, my son in there crying, y'all. I got to go, man. Y'all can read the uh, rest for yourselves. I'm Dizziness Realist and I'm out.